Do any of you know the show on Fox, Zips 8, and the Greeny channel called Greeny Phantom in 1995, right? Everyone admits that it's one amazing show, because it's one of the longest running animated shows of all time. But there was one time, Fox, Zips 8, and the Greeny channel accidentally aired an episode that was never supposed to be aired on TV. After it was aired for the first, but last, time, it never aired again. It didn't repeat later on that day either like Greeny Phantom usually does. It never aired again because of all of the content in it. The kids who have seen it were freaked out, and their parents flooded Fox, Zips 8, and the Greeny channel, telling the workers that this episode scared their children so badly because of all of the horrible content. Only several people remember it, and it never got to go on YouTube due to copyright reasons. By the way, if you managed to tape this episode when it aired, consider yourself lucky. You can burn it to a disc, but you can't post it on YouTube. Otherwise, your account will be suspended due to a copyright claim from Sony Pictures Entertainment, The Walt Disney Company, Pixar, and more. I first heard of it at an event where Peter Weber was speaking. Someone in the crowd asked about the episode, and Weber simply left the stage, ending the presentation hours early. Oddly enough, the episode's production number was 0G05, the title was The Death of Dr. Beanson. The episode labeled 0G05, Little Guy's DOL Weapon, was made later and given the death of Dr. Beanson's production code to hide the latter's existence. In addition to getting angry, asking anyone who was on the show about this will cause them to do everything they can to stop you from directly communicating with Robert Stanton. At a fan event, I managed to follow him, after he spoke to the crowd, and eventually had a chance to talk to him alone, as he was leaving the building. He didn't seem upset that I had followed him, probably expected a typical encounter with an obsessive fan. When I mentioned the lost episode, though, all color drained from his face and he started trembling. When I asked him if he could tell me any details, he sounded like he was on the verge of tears. He grabbed a piece of paper, wrote something on it, and handed it to me. He begged me never to mention the episode again. When I got home, I was snooping around YouTube looking for some decent episodes. I had been around many parts of YouTube that day, the weird part, the music part, and was getting bored fast. Just as I was about to give up, I forgot about that piece of paper from Robert Stanton. It was a YouTube link. I typed it in the address bar, and it directed me to an enlisted video. The video was called, Greeny Phantom an Aired Episode. The duration said it was 10 minutes and 36 seconds, the average amount of time for a Greeny Phantom episode. I clicked on it, ready to see it. Boy, that was a mistake. The name of the episode was, The Death of Dr. Beanson, which is only in a black background, red text and no music. As you would expect, I was very shocked. But I thought at first that this was maybe just a morbid joke, seeing how this episode looked somewhat unfinished. So I finally got to see the episode. The episode started with Little Guy sitting on the couch in his living room, which was unusually messy and swarming with flies. There was no sound but a soft static noise, and instead of the usual perky, pastel colors, the overly vivid hues bled into each other, giving everything a morbid, chaotic look. The silence continued, until the episode was about a minute in, but was broken, when the phone rang in a distorted tone. Hello, is everybody here? Little guy asked in an unnervingly monotonous voice. The soft sound of another voice could be heard on the other line, and for a single frame, an image appeared, but was gone, before I could get a good look. Yes, I understand. Tuesday at 3, right? He said in the same tone before hanging up. The camera zoomed in to show his face in disturbing detail, and he silently mouthed the word Dr. Beanson before starting to cry. The image flashed again, and my already heavy heart skipped a beat, when I saw what it was. Dr. Beanson was drawn in a hyper-realistic manner, his eyes gone and blood oozing from the deep scratches on his fly and maggot-ridden face. I snagged a screenshot of it, imported it to paint.net and saved it to my computer. I still have the file, and called it, Dr. Beanson.jpg. This picture really disgusts me. Little guy started screaming Dr. Beanson's name, the word getting louder and louder with each cry. Doctor then entered, in his normal happy manner. Hey, little guy, what? 
His sentence ended abruptly, and he looked at little guy for maybe 30 seconds in silence, then directly at the camera for the next 30. Little guy then coldly said, Dr. Beanson's dead. Doctor then went into hysterics, but not in the normal, cartoonish way of his. He sounded genuinely pained, and it was hurting me to see this, to hear the beloved characters in this horrible state. The screen then faded to black, and soon cut to the inside of a funeral home. Little guy, doctor, scented sailor, mopter, doctor mother, little girl, the little guy clones, Gia guy, and green bot were all inside, sobbing, the sounds of them all filling the screening room. The crying went on and on, it got more pained, and sounded more realistic, better acting than you would think possible. The animation started to decay even more, as they cried, and you could hear murmuring in the background. The characters could barely be made out, they were stretching and blurring, they looked like deformed shadows with random bright colors thrown on them, and they all formed together like a blob. It zoomed in on the same shot of Dr. Beanson, who wasn't stretching and blurring, and stayed there for the remainder of the video. Then the video ends, and showed nothing but a black screen. As I sat there staring at the black screen, one last text came up. You killed Dr. Beanson, guess what, you're next. There were no credits. After seeing this, I sat in shock for a moment before getting violently sick. I reported the video. Aw, oh, seriously Fox? Come on. I can't believe you've made this horrible, nasty episode. I have not come back to Fox since, and also will never see something like that again. This episode was fortunately never aired, but it still haunts my dreams till this day. Wait, this is a blatant ripoff to popular creepypastas, such as Dead Bart and Filbert's funeral. Can it be more original than that?